Hi all, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4, playing as Poland, going for the Poland Canada Space Achievement. Uh, we are solidifying our hold on the former Denmark, um, aside, whoa, Serbian nationalists, okay, well, I guess we have to come down and deal with you, not what I was expecting. Um, so, try to solidify our hold on Denmark, um, we have had some bad luck on stability events. We unfortunately had part of our army wiped out in Bornholm. I'm going to let them win that and then try to accept. Um, I really don't want claims on Ottomans. I can't take the Ottomans. We have one more core to put forward and then uh, it, that'll be good. So it's just a matter of dealing with, you know. All right. Can I... There you go. You go away. <laughs> and we need 17 more points. So we're close. The only problem is it stopped our missionary progress, which is a bit annoying. We may actually hold off on, on doing the missionaries for a bit. We need to stabilize more than anything else. Finn is a core. We're not going to be building any more of those, because I had forgotten that I need to build up my military, because we are short 10. Um, which is all exciting. I did just attack without a general, which is a bit dumb. Looks like it's going to be okay, though. Although, if we keep on rolling zeros... I'm losing all of the... There we go. You... Just gain some... I don't want buildings right now. The rival of our rival... Nope. Um, so if you're playing Iron Man, which which you need to do for achievements, you have to have auto save that save every month. It's automatic, I believe. Um, it's just how Iron Man works because it cloud saves. And I want to manage my overextension and make that a core. All right, so we have now finished all of our overextension nonsense. Make a lot of people I don't care about that much happier with me. Okay. Um, in fact, can I get any more claims on Sweden? No. Where are your allies? It's still England. England's the one that's the problem. Okay. of France. Revolt risks are still crazy high because, you know, nationalism sucks. Um, 
30 years of this. I love it. That would have been, it would have been nice. But, what can you do? Once we get our um, king to be our king, which is in a few years, we will actually probably be able to do some harsh treatment, because then we'll start getting some points. Um, some real points. And we can build some Dipto buildings if we wanted to, but we'll build military units instead. Cromwell won. What military units do we want to build? We are... 12, 5, 3. So we want some cav. Let's build 2, 3. And we're going to build up some infantry. On 2. It gets us halfway there at least. And I feel like there's a living on a prayer joke, but I'm not going to make it. I really want to though. <laughs> Increase court and cost. I guess I could get quality, but I don't want quality ideas right now before I want tech. It's going to finally be ended. Okay. I can lose more stability. Great. That's what I want. I can go after Lithuania, except they're, you know, under a personal union with Austria, of all people. So that's not going to happen. Um, but you do. I'm fine with losing claims on Austria and the Ottomans. That's perfectly fine. Still a debate between trade and admin. Pretty sure it's going to be trade. In fact, I'm going to take the trade. I might get the admin next. Um, so, Danish nationalists. Okay. We want to set a general. 2 4 is not terrible. finished coring. Come on. Win this battle. I'm fine if you win this battle, even if I take, take the damage. I may actually ship more troops over there just to be safe. In fact, I'll send this bunch. I lose that. Thank you for winning that. Oh, nationalism.
only advantage is, is that going at full speed, because we want the points, we'll get through nationalism quicker. Nationalism, there we go. Create a fortress in mid... I don't want a fortress in there for five army tradition. All these rewards suck. I believe the Ottomans haven't just taken over Oman by now, to be honest. Yeah, they're close. They probably will this time around. At least this time I'm actually winning a war against the rebels. Ugh. I can get that army a little bit over. If Austria was to attack me, no matter where I was, they would roll me over. Austria is too strong. I'm sort of hoping that Austria will just forget about me. It's a silly hope, but it's the only hope I have. <laughs> to raise my stability by one. 99. It is sadly really tempting considering how much that helps rebellion issues. Is only plus 19. Um, I don't know when the French Re Revolution was. All I know is that France likes me and I'm happy about it. Guys, stop revolting. I'm just going to kill you. I don't really care about my royal marriage of my tiny little vassal who I don't really want. <laughs> 